What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day today. I know I am. It is springtime. It's about 75 degrees out even though last weekend it was covered in ice and snowing and just nasty. So I love the fact that spring is here. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, just wanted to do something real quick today. Uh, give you a heads up that the video I talked about yesterday in my quote unquote not a rant video um, about the text editor I've been working with is still on its way. It's coming. I'm working on it. It's just been slow going. Um, and secondly, Nick's 99 problems. If you are watching this, um, I'm going to go ahead and launch a terminal here and we are going to zoom in. And if you take a look at the system I'm running right now, you should be pleasantly surprised to see that um, I am running Barry. Um, so I am getting this video together for you to get the um, kind of go over Barry window manager again. Um, so thank you for being patient with me. Uh, thank you for <laughs> reminding me and being polite about it. And yeah, I, I appreciate it. So that being said, I just wanted to cover two things real quick today, or maybe three, um, real quick today that I learned about Vim. Um, Vim is an amazing text editor. I love it. I've stuck with it since the very beginning of my Linux career. Um, I've attempted to use Emacs and Nano and whatever else, and I just, I always have been, I've come back to Vim. Uh, that being said, I am by no means in any way, shape, or form even close to an expert on Vim, or even close to moderately competent in Vim. I mean, there is still so much I have to learn in Vim, and you'll see people comment on my videos that and point out the fact that I still use the H, J, K, and L keys as opposed to, you know, jumping 10 lines. I, I, I'm still not using it as efficiently as I could. But that being said, it's my system. I'll use it how I want to <laughs> and I'll learn things as I go and I will um, share those things as I learn them. So there's a couple things I learned literally today that I just thought was really cool and so I wanted to show them to you. <clears throat> You've probably already been aware of them, but hey, why not uh, have a go anyway? So let's go ahead and clear the screen. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit closer and we're gonna vim into a file and we'll just call it test. Um, so basically what I've found, and I was unaware that you could do this, but it's really cool. It's not something I'll use very often, I don't think, but when I do need to use it or want to use it, it's going to be extremely helpful and save a lot of time, I'm sure. So that being said, let's say you have a funky name or a long string that you have to tag or type in into a text document or into a you know, program you're writing or something like that. Just something that maybe is easily misspelled and you have to write it numerous times or something that's long and just convoluted and just something that is a pain in the butt to type out each time but you have to do it multiple times. Vim has a fix for that and it's pretty cool. So let's say you have the name William Waddlesworth Covington Esquire the third. I don't know why you would have that name and I feel for you if you do have it and side note disclaimer if your name is William Waddlesworth Covington Esquire the third in real life I'm sorry not just for making fun of your name in this video but for the fact that you were actually named that again I'm sorry <laughs> that being said let's say you had to type that a bunch of times into a text a document or something along those lines and that would just be a headache like I said, Vim has a solution. Let's go ahead and show you what that is. So from normal mode, what you do is you type colon, and then you would type AB. What AB is, is abbreviation. So say we wanted to do an abbreviation for your name. We could do WWCE3. So William Waddlesworth Covington Esquire the third. So we do colon AB, WWCE3, and then we do a space, and then we could type William Waddlesworth Covington Esquire the third. So, A B W W C E three William Waddlesworth Covington Esquire the third, and we hit enter. So now we go up to our document and we're typing away, right? Do, 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 do. We're putting in what we need to put in here, and then we hit enter. And we go down to the next line, and oh, we need to put in our name here. So let's just do W W C E three and hit space. Oh, look at that. We have just created an abbreviation, so now every time we want to put our name in this document until we close this document, we can just type in WWCE3. So if we hit enter and we do it again, WWCE3 and hit enter, WWCE3 and hit enter, you can see that every time you put that in, it is going to actually convert it into the string or name or whatever it is you need it to say. Amazing tool, extremely useful maybe not very commonly used um, in the type of stuff I do but when I do need to use it I guarantee you it's gonna come in very handy that being said that was the first thing I wanted to show you um, the other things I wanted to show you are 
let's say you wanted to do how the first 15 lines of your document you wanted to say ABC I don't ask me why you would do that but you know that's just let's just go with that so you want 15 lines of strictly just ABC you, know, you could go like this go into insert mode and go ABC you know and then hit enter and do ABC or you could copy and paste down or you could do a macro or you could do something along those lines there's, there's ways you could do it but there's another way that I found today that I was completely unaware of so if we go into normal mode and say I want 15 lines of ABC and I just do 15 I ABC enter escape I now have 15 lines of ABC just like that so from normal mode you just type in the number of lines you want which was 15 then you go into insert mode you type in ABC you hit enter and then you hit escape it prints those lines out now let's see what happens if you don't hit the enter first so say you are in normal mode and I want uh, let's just undo that I want again 15 lines so say I did that I'm in normal mode I do 15 insert ABC and then hit escape now you get them all across one row so you got to make sure you that you hit the carriage return go down a row and then hit escape because then it will drop them all down into their own individual line so I just thought that was really cool too so again first thing the the abbreviation super helpful super cool um, this here the fact that you can um, do these lines like this multiple lines of the same thing just with a quick simple command super cool as well now the last thing I wanted to do is say we had uh, I'm gonna do 15 lines of one so let's do 15 insert one enter escape so now I've got 15 lines of one now if you're not familiar with how to increment numbers and decrement numbers decrement is that a word I don't know I hope so in Vim it's really simple all you gotta do is put your cursor underneath the number you want uh, press control a you're gonna go up control X you're gonna drop back down go into the negatives control a up um, so that's nice and easy for the one that you're on right now but say you want to do all of them well you could go into visual mode and you could scroll down and you could go control a and that will change all of them so what if you want to do each one up to the next number so instead of doing one and then changing them all to two you want to do one two three four five six seven and you want to go all the way down well here is where it gets kinda cool all you have to do to do that is you can go in and you do visual mode scroll down so you got all of them selected right and then you do G control A and now we have changed it to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So now had I wanted to leave that first one how it is, I would have scrolled down to the second line, gone into visual mode, scrolled down to the bottom, hit G, and then control A. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So super cool. Easily increment and decrement numbers. Again, if that's a word, I'm not sure. It sounds horrible, but maybe it is. Um, so again, just kind of cover what we did. Um, if you type in in normal mode, you do colon AB, type in whatever you want. WW um, CE3 was for our weird wacky name, and then write out what you want it to be that gives you an abbreviation and as long as you're in that buffer and you haven't closed out of it um, every time you type in that abbreviation it will populate um, as the uh, full text that you wanted secondly um, to add lines to add multiple lines of the same thing um, just type in in normal mode hit the number of lines you want say 25 and then go into insert mode type what you want to type if you want them in, in different rows hit enter and then escape and that'll put them all in different rows if you want them all in one line then just type it in and don't hit enter at the end just hit escape and it'll populate them all the way across and then lastly to increment and decrement numbers uh, control a increments a number up and control X decrements a number down it'll go into the negatives for you if you want to do all of them just highlight get in visual mode and highlight all of them and then control a will change all the numbers to the next number up um, and if you want to uh, do increments and then increment again and then increment again and then increment again you do the same thing go into visual mode highlight or select all of them press G and then do your control a or control X and it will change all of them so just some cool tips I learned in Vim um, again like I said uh, I use Vim quite often but I still don't know hardly anything and I'm sure people would uh, 
be pretty comfortable saying I am a novice. I know very little about it. I know enough to get myself in trouble. I know enough to work around in it and to get what I've done, what I need to get done. But there's so much cool stuff in Vim, so much I'm learning on it. It's just awesome. I just wanted to share that. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you found it useful, uh, informational, entertaining, something. Um, and I didn't waste your time today, but uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless.